All right, so let's look at this multiplication problem. We have 36 times 7. And we want to find the product of these two numbers. So we could either plug this into a calculator and solve it that way, or we could do some mental math and try to calculate this just written as it is. But another way we could solve this is as writing it in a different way or different format where we have something that looks like this. Just draw a squiggly line. 36 times 7. So rewriting this vertically as opposed to horizontally like we have it up here is going to make it a little bit easier um, visually at least to solve. So when we are multiplying a two digit number like this number 36 times a single digit number like seven, we can write it in this format. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this seven, this single digit number down here and multiply it by the number directly above it, so six. So seven times six, which is a lot easier than calculating 36 times seven all in one. If we look at just seven times six, we know that that is 42. And so we are going to write it like this, where we have our four, we're gonna put that up here, and we're gonna put our two up here. So we have 42. So now that we're done with this side, we are going to look at this side with the three and the four. All right, so we have it written like this. We've already solved the first sort of half of this problem. Now we're moving on to the second half. So we have this four over here in this corner and I'm gonna go ahead and circle that in red just to make that distinction. So we circle that in red, hopefully you can see that. Um, but before we even incorporate that four, we're just going to multiply seven times three. So seven times three we know is 21. Then we're gonna take the product of those two numbers, so seven times three, 21, and we're gonna add that to four. So we get seven times three is 21, and we're just adding that to four. And when we do that, we get 25, because we know 21 plus four is 25, and that is the number that comes down here. Two and a five, and that is our final answer. So when we're looking back at this format, I'm gonna do another squiggly line where we have 36 times seven. After doing it this way, we can see that the product of this 36 times seven is in fact 252. So that is how we multiply a two digit number by one digit number. I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next video. Wait, before you leave, go ahead and check out these lessons up above. You can watch this lesson, or you can watch that one, or you can watch both. Oh, and while you're at it, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do so by clicking out of this video and hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Bye.